I definitely have an issue here. I could keep going on that same cut and that way it'll make my glue up a lot easier. I could try to cover it up, which I don't think I can do. Or you could just let it go and start over. Not an option. I'm going to keep going, cut that through. Well, here's the finished project curly cherry front plywood core and uh, also on the back curly cherry obviously and walnut drawer pulls i flocked the inside i made this top drawer uh, two separate compartments i'm really happy with the way it turned out i spared you guys all the sanding the and there believe me there was a lot of it uh, one little trick i want to tell you guys in case you don't know it I usually have a roll of this adhesive back 150 grit sandpaper. This is actually automotive sandpaper. It works great for this type of stuff. It already has the adhesive backing. And I'll just grab a dowel, wrap it around, get into all these uh, intricate areas. Also I use, I use this a lot, these flimsy plastic rulers. They have just enough uh, uh, rigidity that you can get in there to all these little tight spots works out well and just in case you didn't know uh, I just want to let you guys know I did start out with a piece of paper and a pencil came up with this pattern but I do have it available now 
So uh, go ahead and check the description down below. If you want to make one of these yourself, you can just print it out, uh, download it, print it, and you can do whatever you want with it. Just make sure you give me credit for the pattern. All right, well, that's all I have, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one, guys.